May is National Asthma Awareness Month. And that's what this poem is that I wrote for just of this month. I don't think I'll be producing another one after this. And May is National Asthma Awareness Month, where new or eco-mandelas arise to such an occasion. <clears throat> because of how pressing this issue has been going on, like rising climate change issues that continually worsen for millennia, it is a scientific fact found by many climate change historians and climate scientists along with climatologists that the status and rate of pollutants affect the people's health in the bronchial regions, which should be mentally noted in the original foundation of democracy through the system of ethics. Conjunctivitis has the same similarities to asthmatics, not fully, but remember that you cannot catch them thinking that they are cooties. Asthma is a serious problem in this world where more people are developing such pains, even in their children. Asthmarized activists are not standing down until something gets done. After all, Congress finally became aware of this role that portrays a larger commotion. The major cause, air pollution, and how we are continually devastating our planet with the worst carbon footprint. The most common notion is to hear what these sufferers want. Clean air opportunities. So, they don't have to be stuck on inhalants in which we can finally ban cigarette smoking. For the reason being that these asthma patients can stop the feel of wheezing and the inner compacting of their lungs. So they can stop referring to a 300 pound elephant sitting on top of them. It has gone harder over the years in the rising statistics, where more should be accomplished. Instead of positive reinforcements of eating different foods that are anti-allergy, like quail eggs, which sound great, but motivate and legislate for safe reason. We already accomplished that wearing a seatbelt is the law in the state of Florida. Wearing a helmet is safe when on any bike, scooter, can-am, or the latest trike and accomplishing the Clean Indoor Air Act with every mall, excluding the amateur mall that is in violation and in denial. Since we reciprocate with responsible policies that don't harm our health, like the Affordable Health Care Act, that can ensure the assistance and survival of many Americans in need of insurance, we can do the same when it comes to listening to these patients' rights. Instructions read, pass the Clean Air Act into policy and let it become the safest law. I wrote this in dedication to my wife Gabby for her 30th birthday, which was on the 7th this month, who I love and care about deeply. <clears throat>